Today, we are going to be talking about how we can identify integers and their opposites. As you can see, on a number line, we have both positive and negative numbers. Positive numbers are numbers that are greater than zero. Negative numbers are numbers that are less than zero or on a number line are to the left of zero and they must always have a negative sign next to them to indicate that they are a negative number. For instance, negative eight is negative because it's to the left of zero and it also has the sign in front of the number. The number zero is neither positive nor negative. Numbers have opposites. Two numbers are opposites if, on a number line, they are the same distance from zero, but on different sides of zero. For example, if we look at negative seven, the opposite of negative seven is positive seven, because if we start at zero and we hop to negative seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Negative seven is seven jumps away from zero. Positive seven is also seven jumps away from zero, but in the positive side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Therefore, negative seven is the opposite of positive seven. Zero is its own opposite. Zero is the same distance away from zero. Throughout this unit, you're going to be hearing the word integer. Every time we refer to integers, we are talking about the set of all whole numbers and their opposites. So you could also say that negative seven and positive seven are integers. Now we would like you to try some on your own. Why don't you press pause on this video and answer both questions? Question one asks you which number is farther from zero on a number line, negative nine or six. And the second question asks you to write the opposite of each number given. Why don't you press pause on the video and when you have figured out for yourself, press play to see the answers. As you can see, negative nine is farther from zero on the number line. Negative nine is nine spaces away from zero, and positive six is only six spaces. So although negative nine is a negative number, it's still further away from zero. And as you can see, the opposites of each number, negative nine would become a positive nine, its opposite. Six, positive six, has a negative six as the opposite. Are you noticing that I haven't drawn the positive sign next to the positive numbers? You don't need to do that. Some people do. They write a plus sign in front of six, but that can be confusing. So we tend to leave no sign in front of positive numbers, and we just write the negative sign in front of a negative number. Hope this video has been helpful. Make sure you watch it again if you need more review.